Hey everybody, this is Adam with the Productivity Academy. Uh, one question that I get a lot and that kind of uh, confused me at the beginning when I started using Todoist was how do you view your completed tasks or activities? Um, so pretty simple, but sometimes not so easy to figure out. So maybe you've either marked something complete that you want to bring back and you don't want to type it, or you need to review completed tasks from a certain project. So these are both uh, two use cases that are pretty important, and I'll go over them both real quick. So let's say today we're in our inbox. This is what it normally looks like, and whoops, I've fallen behind. Luckily, this is just my test account for Productivity Academy, and my real account is much more up-to-date than this. But what you can do is go into your projects over here where you have projects, labels, and filters. Just click on a project. And over here, this is the one that makes the most sense to me, at least. It looks like something where this would be, you know, it's got the kind of clock symbol and the going against uh, the normal motion of the clock. So that makes sense that that would be something completed. So you click on that, and it'll pop up here. In this case, I don't have any. So we'll make one real quick uh, just to show how this works. And let's mark it as completed. And now if we go in here, you can see, okay, that was... Um, completed and if you click on that it pops back up into your to-do list okay so simple enough now let's say again we're in our main inbox and you want to see it it's not in settings which is where most people look it's in the little karma area up here so you click on that and then you see four completed tasks so this will say how many and then you can view all which womp womp is a premium feature okay so if you end up using Todoist, I would highly suggest uh, getting the premium just because it, uh, it works very well. It's very cheap, and I, monthly it's something like $2. So, you know, skip a coffee and get Todoist premium. It's got some pretty handy features. Um, but again, if that doesn't work for you, you're not too worried about it, then don't sweat it. Um, you can always sort things by projects, which is pretty handy, and then view your um, completed projects that way. So hopefully that helps you. It's kind of a handy little tool to know if you need to dig something up or review, um, which is the way some people do, and, and that's probably one of the better features for it is to go back and review tasks. Um, if, if that's the way you um, do it, like a weekly review or a daily review, that, that might be helpful.